Hey everybody, welcome back to Ogre Speed Shop. This is going to be phase 3.5 of my 69 Firebird build history. So this is going to basically cover from February 2020 to February 2021. So stand by and enjoy. Alright, so here we are again, draining the coolant. Y'all seen me do that before with the, the leak I was dealing with down inside there. That ain't why I'm, de well, um, why I'm draining it this time. This time I'm draining it because I am pulling the motor out. And the reason I'm pulling the motor out is because of that. This smashed oil pan. See that little gold piece right there? That's somebody tried to braise it closed, but it's been leaking. And checked the oil one day and it wasn't good. Still had oil pressure, never lost oil pressure, so that's a good thing, but when you check the oil and your full mark is there, but it's only down to here, so it's only here, eh, it's been leaking a little bit. So I'm going to change the oil pan, got the new oil pan right here, came in today, and check it out. This is a stock pan, see no baffle. This one is a Summit brand, it's only 55 bucks, and it has an actual baffle in it, so that'll help with the oiling as well. And I got the BOP one piece oil pan gasket, and they also have the rubber, or the metal infused rubber valve cover gaskets that, you know, so I have to run the cork and actually, actually seal this thing up. So that is why I am draining the water right now to get all the water out of the block so I can pull the motor. Hopefully, probably not tonight, obviously, because I don't know what time it is, probably after seven. So I am going to pull the motor. Oh yeah, there's new headers too. Put new headers on. So those have got to come off again, go figure. But yeah, I should have the motor out by Saturday at the most. If not, then it will be Saturday. And we get that oil pan changed out. timing but I gotta put coolant in it first before I do that and I gotta get the fan shroud done but she's back up and running 
Yay! Kill it. I'm gonna chase again. <laughs> So this is how much fluid came out of my transmission when I pulled the drain plug. This is how much went back in. That's one, two, and so a little bit left in there. So almost three quarts of fluid went back in. So I don't know how this transmission held up. I could have swore I put it in when I put the transmission in originally. So if I did, then I got a major leak someplace. And I don't know where it's at or where it could be because there's no evidence of the leaks anywhere. Or I totally forgot to put it in. And it's actually drove around like that. I guess I got lucky either way. So I would have to see if there is a leak now that it's back up together and we'll go from there. This little bumper thing on it couldn't figure out what it is i looked at my book and it shows it right there the fender support was not shaped the same and there's another picture of it that i found of it i don't know but found out where it goes. It goes right there. It supports the fender. Alright, for today's agenda, I'm going to repair this. This fell off on me last week. That is my running light turn signal bucket. 
decided to fall off of the, uh, so it should look like that. I decided to fall off on my way to work one morning. So I'm gonna repair that. I do have a new valence on the way because that one's pretty tore up, but I wanna drive the car until it gets here. So I'll be taking that off and repairing this today. All right, so that dyno pull is going to conclude my build history on phase, for phase 3.5. And the next part is going to be uh, phase 4, obviously. That's going to cover the upgrades I made in the following, in March this of that 2021. So it's going to be from March till May. And it's a lot. There's a lot done on that in those two months. So stand by for those. Um, if you enjoyed these videos, go ahead and leave me a like down there. Uh, write me a comment. Let me know what's going on and subscribe if you want to. I really appreciate the support and until next time, I'll see you later.